Tonight, the family of Krista Stone is remembering the kind of person she was. Good and pure and kind. Krista and her son Zachary were murdered by her husband Mark Stone in 2013. Yesterday, a jury found him guilty of two counts of capital murder. That same jury recommended today he spend the rest of his life in prison without parole and not be sentenced to death. The final decision is up to the judge. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. Way 31's Cody Fisher is in Huntsville with how Krista Stone's family is holding up following the verdict. Dan, three of the 12 jurors here at the Madison County Courthouse today thought that Mark Stone should be given the death penalty. Uh, now, Krista's family tonight is still coming to terms with the fact that Mark will be able to allow to live, albeit behind bars. Six years later, Krista Stone's parents still can't believe Krista and their seven-year-old grandson, Zachary, are gone. It's unimaginable. It's just, you don't know how to... You don't know how to think and feel. Moments after the decision to sentence Mark Stone to life in prison, the Kowalskis are just grateful he won't ever be a free man again. Either way, um, he's going to be spending his life in prison, whether it's a shorter term or a longer term. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with it. Mark Stone's defense attorney says he's glad his life was spared by the jury. Madison County District Attorney Rob Broussard strongly disagreed with the decision. We always abide by the jury's decision and and they, they did a good job, but we saw it obviously that it was death penalty was warranted. That's because Mark Stone not only strangled his wife Krista, but also strangled and drowned his son Zachary. Krista's family tries not to think about that, instead focusing on the happy memories they have of them. Well, we didn't want memories, we wanted experiences. Um, but we'll keep on with the good memories. The judge in this case still has the power to levy the death penalty, and the district attorney in Madison County says that decision will likely come in four to six weeks. Reporting live in Huntsville, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News. Thanks, Cody. Krista and Mark Stone's other two children, who were two and four years old at the time of the murders, are currently being raised by Krista's dad.